Okay, let's let's get into it. Losers finals, MFA with the longest losers run in a long time, going up against Syrup, great Nest player, representing Armada Esports. Let's see, let's see what happens here. Already, I can see him using that uh, side magnet to deal with the Pikmin. I wonder if uh, Almar mains prefer to have the red Pikmin in this matchup. Just to deal with the PK fire. Similar thing with the uh, the yellow Pikmin for the uh, the PK Thunder too. Yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see. So far, oh. MFA doesn't care about what Yo. Pikmin he has because he got the purple Pikmin activated, and definitely our Syrup is at 121 PK fire. No follow up after him here, man. But he's using that downer to kind of break through. Uh, MFA plays really fast with this character. Oh my goodness, went so deep. Called the jump out heavily. Yeah, and this, I don't know, man. MFA's Olimar, man. He's not afraid to get up close and personal. Very aggressive, from what I can see. Surprised I haven't seen him try to use these whistles on uh, Ness's aerials, but. Not too bad for him right now. He's backing yeah. up a lot of sleep percent. Yeah, 114, big stock lead here. So finally with a break here at 63%. Oh, that's big. No follow-up on, on the PK fire except for the forward air, but you know, that's the thing about Ness too. If he gets two PK fires in certain situations, he can follow that up into a down air. That's really huge for Ness, especially on some of the weaker recoveries. Nice for him to call out the high recovery too. MFA doesn't want to go for the low recovery just out of fear of like probably being sized all to an area or a PK fire or a PK thunder. Oh, that was good conditioning. Ooh. Yeah, he, he didn't want to jump too because the way MFA had been calling on a lot of aerials. Syrup though with the equalizing here, one stuck a piece and where we saw MFA with a strong lead originally. Nice side magnet movement, but not able to get a long combo up for that forward air, unfortunately, for Syrup. Oh, got to be so careful on that platform, but wow, the pressure is coming in. Syrup's actually really good at his jump back uh, tech chases with his aerials. See if he can catch a roll in and get like a more damaging string. Nice. All oh, these Pikmin are just getting destroyed left and right but there's the purple and the red yeah up oh. there and my favorite looking for another one here especially with syrup oh. so high in the okay. air Dive, like not enough here syrup looking for an aerial missing the upper though nice oh. i like that he plays a little bit grounded here he doesn't want to go for an out of shield off because i would have been called oh. out he paced so correctly here syrup definitely knows when he keeps his feet on the ground as he gets the back air and takes game one Nice. Man, that was like back and forth match from start to finish. Yeah, definitely very strong <laughs> back and forth match. Syrup definitely showing why he's one of the best players out there, one of the best Nesses, man. And then being part of Team Armada alongside other players, man. <laughs> you know they're happy about this pickup for sure. Oh, definitely. Yeah, Armada, like, really great choice in who they decide to uh, sponsor. sponsor. Yeah. As far as Smash goes, at least.
No, Armada doesn't have a team. It's just the name of the esports team. Esports organization. Very different, yeah. Surprised if he's ever started one, though. Same. That aerial peaking fire was so big for Syrup because he gets a lot of follow-ups after it too. And it's really good for him to start it from the air because usually MFA is looking for a more like... He's usually tossing Pikmin on the ground to force Syrup to go for a jump or to just force him on, on, enough for his own grab combo. Yeah. Syrup has just like been really smart about using these platforms to make his angle on PK fire that much more tricky yeah. and difficult to deal with. Ooh. Oh, that was so that good. That was so good for MFA, yeah, because he knows Syrup was definitely keeping to trying to land in the same spot. And for MFA, just understand, it's like, fine, if you really want to land here, you will eat this juggle and eventually the stock at that high percent. So you gotta be careful when you land. Yeah, that was smash really good. Decent anti-air option, but also because it has a lasting opportunity where the front hitbox is a multi-hit. It can lead to the main hit. So a lot of good options you can do to get Sledge there just because it sticks out as well. We've seen a lot of messing with it before. Definitely. Man, even with the whistle, the Surf is just not letting up on these edge guards. Like, he's continuously trying to push MFA off the stage. And it's kind of crazy too, when you think about matchups, right? All the more as a character, you would feel like you have to play slower because he's a zoner, but you know that Syrup knows if I don't play this fast, and strong to get a lead, it's gonna be Olimar who slowly ticks me down. You kinda have to run over Olimar before he gets a chance to run over you. Yep, that's how I approach this matchup anyway. Like, it's just, cause outside of his whistle, his defensive options just aren't super strong. Yeah. And he has trouble really landing too. Okay. This is pretty good. For MFA. He has a pretty good lineup. He just has to get in a position to utilize it and Syrup saying, yeah. That's not going to happen. I'm just going to chase you all the way to the top of the blast zone. I wonder if uh, the nature of Ness's up air being multi-hit makes it strange for him to just try to go for the whistle like that. Yeah. That's an interaction I definitely haven't thought of before. Good use of slice ball. Able to get over the red Pikmin. Oh. Yes, sir, man. He just wants to keep going after it's his turn to get, you know, some offense started. It definitely does uh, bite him sometimes, but his aggressive playstyle seems to work really well for him for the most part, especially in this matchup. Yeah. Yeah, it's good for Syrup to go for Psy, Psy stall there. Sorry, Psy Magnet in this case, because he's not really going for a stall. There's a forward air, I like it. Finds his feet on the ground, looking to get for an up air. Syrup hasn't gone for an aerial PK fire here. That's usually been the big thing that gets him percent or follow up. Oh. I like Child that coming in purple. Yeah, Oh, yeah, what a parry, good. but the double jab. Okay, so that's another purple, but... Still oh, living. we're living, no spike, no spike. Doesn't get the snipe either, he's going low. All right. Syrup yeah, trying to get out of there. Yeah, good on Syrup too to oh. understand he wanted to get Gray. Um, MFA wanted to grab him, so I didn't give him that grab. Nice peek in front of wow. the white Pikmin here. Up smash, oh, the up smash! What a call out, dude. Dang, MFA was not ready for that. Syrup's ledge movement while he was stuck in the corner on the left side was actually so good. He didn't panic, he didn't give MFA any free rolls, he didn't play scared at all, he just... Found his opening, played patient. That was really nice. Yeah, and in that situation here, in that situation, up smash was really good because it covers roll and it covers an anti-air option if you would have gone for an out of shield one. So that was really good on Syrup to just let it go. Ready? And with the pressure that he put on MFA too, definitely strong.
I wouldn't say MFA is getting robbed. I feel like, you know what, you have to adjust the way your opponent plays here. And you can tell that Syrup understands I can't play this slow and paced. I have to play this really strong and fast. If not, it's going to be all around who's going to be winning against me. All right, Hero, potentially the last game between these two here in Lucifer's final setup up 2-0 against MFA here. Drag down up there, but no complete drag down, actually. Just gets the hits in. Oh, Side man. Oof, that was back air. so scary, dude. Yeah, that could have been stuck, too. Yeah, he could have died so easily there. Down throw forward air, yep. Easy 27% here coming out from MFA. Yes, look at that PK fire. If you think about it here in that situation right now, only is it a good opportunity for Sim to get follow-ups from it, but the angle that it's able to get MFA when he goes for aerials out of the ledge is really strong. Yep. All right, Sam, looking for the footies here. Gets the dash attack, blasting hitbox. He's got MFA off the stage here. What's his edge guard? Looking for the get-up option? Yeah, what a coverage, too, here, because once again, he goes for up smash. If he tries to roll or do anything from there... Which he wasn't going to be able to because get up attacks have a really long lasting cooldown, so you have to really be careful when you commit to them. Oh, no roll in. Yeah, Serve's uh, awareness <laughs> on defense is usually very good. Like, yeah. I don't see him pick very many panic options. Oh, okay. Oh, no catch. He did do a good job of sniping to both the jumps off stage, but. Wasn't able to secure the stock, and because of that, MFA is racking up all the percent now. Oh, man, he wants to get as much damage he can get off of this PK fire before he tries to commit to something a little bit more unsafe. That was good, yeah. Oh, once again, wow. that get up animation is so long, <laughs> honestly, that it was good for him to once again go for up smash. Syrup's MVP move here has been up smash, but MFA with the back here on the yellow Pikmin here, even Fox here. But it's a, is it going to be a game for MFA? Or will Syrup move on with a 3 0 here? Last chance situation for MFA. Good for him. This is oh, something man. we haven't seen him do. We haven't seen him go for PK Thunder to kind of shut down MFA. Nice. What a, what, a, what a change up here, because he's able to kind of stall himself instead of going for back or goes for PK fire, because he's looking for a confirm. Big for Syrup here. Small footsies here. Goes for an aerial on tough attempt here. This is big for MFA on the on the throw. Oh, man, good drift for Syrup. He didn't make it easy for MFA to get like an anti-air, but these forward smashes, not getting punished, but I gotta wonder. Was he trying to hit there? Yeah, I was going to say, if I were Sarah, man, you got to be careful if you're dancing around MFA this way. No confirms, because look at that percentage he's taking on. Back at what Oh, the snag. Wow, he was watching so closely where he was trying to drift. I don't think he ever got to touch the ground, so he, like, he decided to commit to the up B, and, and Sarah just saw that opening like a mile away.